Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today hopefully I'm gonna be doing the last video on my migration from the awesome IBM slash Lenovo X3650 Border 4 which has been my everyday server for I forget how long three four years at least and over to the new and awesome Lenovo SR650 which I purchased for over one and a half years ago and haven't really put into production so it's a bloody about time so what am I up to I have made a drawing so this is kind of my setup uh, out here we have something called the internet you might have heard of it and from there I get a fiber optic cable into my house and we can just see where that comes in and we can see that box there uh, ouch that box right there is the internet coming in and you can you can't see the fiber optic connection that is in that uh, that white thing here that comes up from 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 down here somewhere uh, but you can see the RJ45 connection going out of it so that's what I've been drawing here there's a fiber and I have a 1 gigabit slash 1 gigabit internet connection coming in through fiber and we have that box I call it a modem or a converter I'm sure it has some fancy name it might also just be a router but this is my ISPs it's their box uh, from there I get an RJ45 connection a copper 1 gigabit connection and that goes into my 10 gigabit switch down here and that's my ubiquity switch on that switch I have I have four RJ45 connections it's a 10 gigabit switch uh, but I have four of those RJ45 connections, and I use those it's kind of wasteful because I'm not using that it's a 10 gigabit switch I'm just using those connections but I have made three of those four connections to internet VLAN so there, it's their own little network right there that um, that only they can see so I have a connection coming in there and I have two other connections these other connections are connected to my two servers and the whole idea is that right now my uh, router which is running as a virtual machine PFSense virtual machine and is running on the X3650 model 4 and it's gonna be moved up here to the Lenovo SR650 from the switch here I have connected this little network to each of these servers right now the internet is going to this server because that's where the router is and it works this way that um, from the switch there's a physical connection to a physical network port on the server that network port is part of a virtual switch inside VMware ESXi virtual switch and from that virtual switch there is only there's a connection in and there's a connection out so the connection out goes to PFSense which is the router and it um, manages the firewall and the port forwarding and so on and so forth and then uh, the connection goes back to the normal uh, I have written virtual switch here but the normal virtual switch that all the virtual machines are connected to also it, it kind of goes out of the server and back to uh, to uh, other switches outside but the whole idea is to to migrate my PFSense up to this server so I've made another virtual switch up here when I migrate this I have to make sure that it hits that switch and the normal switch I have already migrated most of the machines well actually all of the machines PFSense is the last thing in the puzzle and then this server is um, is not doing anything anymore PFSense needs to get this connection and this connection so that it does the same thing as down here connected to the external switch and the internal switch and it should route between those two that's going to be very interesting because my ISP over here they like to uh, make sure that the same MAC address if I change my MAC address it, it could take four hours for it to work again and that is I forget if it's four or if it's one hour or how long it is but there is a delay you, you can't just switch forth and back from uh, 
from routers and stuff I'm sure it's some security stuff I'm very interested in what will happen if the ISP if they see the MAC address of the PFSense then it might there might be no penalty in moving it up here because I don't think the MAC address will change I'm not totally sure about that but well I'm hoping that that's how it is and the rest of it the output port shouldn't well shouldn't worry about that so that's the general idea I hope you uh, get it when when we're done these green lines will be going from up here and and back there and then this will be obsolete we are at the computer here and let's just go to the screen I have um, my Unify Ubiquiti thingy running here and I have those um, three network ports that I was talking about out there that are configured and if I hold my mouse over them you can see at the bottom they have a profile and that it's it's called outside so they are connected to the outside so yeah just wanted to show you that oh and I wanted to uh, now that I had to get in here and check everything was good I had to I, I updated everything all of my ubiquity stuff has just been rebooted but I just made a screen capture of my 10 gigabit backbones, which we'd had, which had been running for 645 days without any downtime. So yeah, I thought that was cool. So I am moving over the last little bit of server stuff that I, well, this is, a, it's an HMC for IBM power that I have laying around. It's a virtual machine that should act as an HMC. Um, it's come, well, right now it has transferred 27 gigabytes and uh, it's not the fastest to put that over and when we look in here it's, it's 42 gigabytes that it has to transfer. So it's working on that and that should be the last little bit. If we go up here and close that one, we can see that uh, the only server that is left is PFSense. There is some inactive servers, but they are often, meaning that the storage isn't there. Or I have all the servers, um, they have just not been in use. I've put them in here, but I've never used them. Also, this container down here is empty. And if we go to the, to the new host, which has a red exclamation mark, there's a weird amount of errors. You can keep, kind of see some of them down here. I had just found that the, the V sensor was not synchronized in time, so probably that is gonna just fix that. So um, that is probably gonna help. But down here, all of my servers except the PF sense has moved down here. So they are now running on the Lenovo SR650. There are not as many inactive servers, and also there are some servers running here and some servers not running here. So and that's fine that's how that's supposed to be so the only thing that i really need to move down is my pfsense server ip port we can see that it's it's connected to this PrimaNet PrimaNet internet and that is connected and when i move it over to the new server and network it needs to be connected to internet port so that's the two virtual switches that are in there. Okay, this is ever so slightly strange. Like this file is 42.5 gigabytes and it's right now copying over even though it's, it's not showing that, which is bloody irritating. But if we go over here to the four terabyte hard drive where it's copying to and click that folder again, it has copied 66 gigabytes over there so it's copying more than there is so somehow it's extracting that uh, disk over there and i have no idea how big that disk is but it's most definitely a lot of zeros that is wasting my time with well locking out and in of v sensor gave me the progress bar back so now i can see that it's 53 percent done copying this hmc8 over and it started at 9 58 and the time is right now 10 33 so uh yeah it's gonna take another half an hour to get that done 
It has completed the move. Well, it, it completed it about seven minutes ago. Uh, but now it has moved. So let's check if it is actually gone. Oh, from here, there, and that disk. And files. And it's not there anymore. So now there is only PFSense router. And let's just get that on the move. Um, I have been in registrating different stuff. If this fails, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm gonna see how that goes. So we need active servers and we have the PFSense router there. And we're gonna right click and then migrate. Migrate there and it's gonna be changing both um, computer resources and storage. That's not that uh, important. And just not to make any uh, mistakes, we're not gonna put it into a resource pool. We're just gonna have it sitting there. Uh, it's complaining about something. VMware tools not configured correctly. I guess we'll, that's okay. Next. Then we can select what drive it goes to. That's gonna go on SSD. That's fine. Uh, and we're gonna, it's gonna be thin provisioning. Yes. That's the storage part of it. Next. Then there is some network. At the moment it's going to be here, but we need to move it to internet port. There. And next. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Next. And when is it gonna move? It's gonna move now. Yes, and finish. And it's starting to move that. I have prepared a little ping thing. I'm gonna ping Danish radio. See if it uh, disappears at some point. And this is gonna take a bit of time. I don't know how long. I guess I'm just gonna shut up and we'll see this run. It shouldn't be a big thing to move. Uh, I haven't actually checked how big it was. I should probably have done that. But if this runs really smoothly, we probably lose a ping or two. And if I have not thought this through, well, I have to figure out where my internet went. That went really quickly, but unfortunately, the internet disappeared. That's unfortunate. So why did it do that? I'll have a look at this, see if I can figure out why this isn't working. I think I promised to give it some more RAM. Forgot about that. I've been, been checking if everything looks all right. Uh, network port uh, should be okay. And if we at the moment, I can show you PFSense because it's not showing anything that I uh, shouldn't be sharing. Um, but up here, the VLAN, it, it's, it does not get an IP. It's connected up, uh, but it's not getting anything. And it's, it's, it looks like it's trying stuff. Uh, fan out, fan in. So it's, it's asking for IP or something, but it's not receiving anything back so that's uh, that's where we're at and of course um, our pings are not getting through uh, my uh, my router is telling me that it's unreachable okay admittedly that was uh, that was irritating <laughs> it's hours later i don't know if you can see the time down here but it's three o'clock and yeah, we, I think I started this at 11 o'clock. So four hours later, I think we have something working. Danish radio is up and running, so I can access that. Unfortunately, the ping of it uh, has been timing out for quite a long time. Uh, I'm not sure why that is timing out. I think I might need to restart the router, but I do have internet now, so the router is up and running. And yeah that's the last little thing that was needed before we can shut down the other server 
what went wrong was this thing. It's an SFP that goes into the server and converts the SFP plus connection here to an RJ45 connection. And um, yeah, that didn't do the job. Um, I tried this one, which is a, it's called FiberNet or something. Fiber. We need the glasses. It's just called Fiber. It's a, it's a generic one. And then, then I tried a Cisco one, didn't do the job. And then I tried, I had a 10 gigabit one laying around, popped that in and, and that did the job. Weird as heck. I um, wouldn't expect that that would be needed. Um, so right now we can see down here that uh, we have a 10 gigabit, oh, you can't see that, 10 gigabit network connection to um, out to the internet, which is oh, way overkill, but well, I guess it will do. <laughs> so more or less, my good old M4 up here is empty. Oh, I can move the router in to active servers now. Okay, after a bit of a reboot, um, it seems to be okay. Uh, I lost connection to uh, vCenter here, and now it's okay. I moved the, the PFSense router up here under active servers, and this is just fine. So now this, um, the awesome IBM Slash Lenovo X3650 Model 4 is not doing anything. CPU usability, none. A little bit of RAM, storage, and uh, some some stuff playing there, but nothing that matters. So I think we should um, end the video by uh, shutting this server down. So we can do that by powering it off. Power down. Reason not in use anymore. Okay, that is actually one word. Okay, down and. Okay, it needed to be rebooted anyway, but um, initializing host shutdown. So that was a really annoying error to find and I had, um, I, I've been communicating with the ISP to s figure out if, if, if it was on in their end. Luckily I was nice about it and didn't do anything stupid because it turned out to be my equipment that was messing with me so um, yeah these things which is a converter from from SFP plus to RJ45 connections and apparently um, I don't know they're, they're talking to the ubiquity switch up there it might be um, miscommunication that way or maybe it's the server that don't like it I don't know now it works I should probably go order another one of, of those they could be handy to have laying around for as a spare or something so yeah but finally the awesome IBM slash Lenovo X3650 model 4 is off I forgot to say but it had run 522 days with zero downtime when we just shut it off kind of sad but um, yeah it um, needed a break so <laughs> Kind of awesome. I have a buddy that I need to go call and have him check if he can access the equipment he is using on my um, on my host here. I hope everything is good. I will uh, check that tomorrow when I get to work. And I'm on an internet connection outside. I don't need it that much. So as long as I can uh, see some YouTube videos and upload a video tonight, it's all good to go talking about that today when recording this is Sunday so I need to go and record my WhatsApp video for Patreon so the patrons will know that I'm now on my new computer server already and uh, they know this Sunday and you will see this video on Friday so they're way ahead of you check me out over on Patreon that's kind of the cue to that one so yeah but otherwise thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.